Hello guys, my name is Boya Jiwaskito, and here I'm gonna talk about the intertextuality on Deadpool movie. The concept of intertextuality is a literary theory stating all works of literature are a derivation or have been influenced by a previous work of literature. There is a deliberate intertextuality which purposely borrows from text and there is a latent intertextuality which is when references occur incidentally and the connection or influence isn't deliberate as all written text makes intertextuality possible. There was a person named Julia Kristeva, a literary critic and feminist psychoanalyst. She was the person to coin the term intertextuality in an attempt to synthesize Ferdinand de Saussure's semiotics. Saussure's study is about how signs derive their meaning within the structure of a text and with Bakhtin dialogism, his theory suggests a continual dialogue with other works of literature and other authors and his examination of the multiple meanings. For Kristeva, the notion of intertextuality replaces the notion of intersubjectivity. When we realize that meaning is not transferred directly from writer to reader, but instead is mediated through or filtered by codes imparted to the writer and reader by other texts. Some intertextual references are exact lines of dialogue or action, while others are more factually referenced. The definition of intertextuality includes forms of parody, pastiche, retellings, homage, and allegory. Any work of literature that is involved in the creation of a new text is considered intertextual. And in this video, we will talk about the intertextuality in a movie called Deadpool. Deadpool Summary Deadpool's real name is Wade Wilson. He is a New York City mercenary. He fought bad guys for a quick and relatively easy buck. At his favorite bar, he meets a prostitute named Vanessa and they strike up a relationship. Shortly after Wade and Vanessa get engaged, Wade is diagnosed with late-stage cancer. He leaves Vanessa in the middle of the night claiming that it's to spare her from the pain of his cancer battle. Wade's friend named Weasel tells Wade that there is a mysterious recruiter waiting for him. The recruiter says that the people he works for will not only cure Wade's cancer, but also turn him into a superhero. Long story short, Wade found that her girlfriend is kidnapped by the recruiter who cured him, and in the end, he can save his girlfriend. In this movie, Ryan Reynolds displaying a complete disregard for any fourth walls that might have once been up to retain some resemblance of a conventional film audience relationship. Breaking a fourth wall is iconic to a Deadpool character, even in the film or in the comic. Thus, Deadpool mostly mentions many references, such as iconic lines, characters, or even the people behind the producers, such as Disney and 24 Fox Studios. Here are some of the list references that Deadpool mentioned during the movie. In the movies, one such character is an Indian American cab driver named Topinder. In Deadpool 2, Wade used the dialogue Talk to Me Goose in the cab. This is a direct reference to the Tom Cruise staring Top Gun. I've never experienced that last one. Talk to me, Goose. I was going to say soul. As Josh Brolin was cast as both Cable in Deadpool 2 and Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, Deadpool had a barrage of jokes lined up for the occasion. From calling Cable as Thanos since Josh Brolin are playing both of these characters. Dip it, Thanos, we have a deal and you fuck <laughs> Deadpool pushes it to the extent of using Black Widow's dialogue. Hey big guy, sun's getting real low. To calm down Juggernaut. This is an iconic line in the Avengers film where Black Widow is shooting Hulk aka Bruce Banner to bring back to his human form. Hey big guy, the sun's getting real low. Ah, shit, fucker. One Eye Willie was the infamous captain of the pirate ship Fisher in Goonies. It was Willie's map Mikey found in his parents' attic. 
dragging Bran on an adventure he didn't ask for. It was mentioned in the film because the actor who played Cable, Josh Brolin, is in the film named Cooney. Give me your best shot, one-eyed Willie. Deadpool also mentioned about DC comic. When Cable attacks Deadpool ruthlessly, he blurs out. So dark! The Ajena from the DC universe! Deadpool say that because DC Universe or DC Comics is often related to a dark tone, even is in all of these movies or series. There's also a line from Robocop when Colossus says, Quietly, or there will be trouble. You stole that from Robocop. Robocop, just stand down. Deadpool also mentioned an iconic line from Disney's blockbuster movie called Frozen. You wanna build a snowman? There are almost too many comic mentions or nods to other films and TV to explore. Some of these references appear to be throwaway lines of dialogue, perhaps as a constant reminder to the audience of Deadpool's awareness of his place in pop culture history. However, other lines in this film are less self-serving and more critical of flawed film plots, the predictability of the action hero genre, and the movie industry itself. The Deadpool team have struck a balance between self-deprecating humor and witty and relevant commentary on contemporary society and the output of the mass media. That's all from me and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.